good evening good evening sir how to pronounce the name yeah uh, you can pronounce my name is ramanuj ramanuj oh, fine it's a good name what do you mean that like you when defining it sound uh, it's a inheritance from ram but uh, how will be what do you mean that ramanuj yeah so if you go to uh, that sanskrit uh, uh, so uh, it is uh, ram plus anuj it is ramanuj means lakshman so okay. uh, Ram, uh, uh, lakshman is the younger brother of ram so ram, okay. to lakshman my name my okay it is, is a, it is a direct uh, integrating of two word ram and yes. anuj ram yes. is god ram and his brother is anuj okay nice good name good good got to know thank you so uh, mr uh, ramanuj hope you received the jd okay yeah yeah and uh, this role completely data ma manager role and uh, we are looking somebody have a strong solid knowledge on sql excel tableau and the knowledge on data quality data governance also good to have all tricks and a cloud this profile is matching for you before proceeding the interview yeah, so I have gone through the JD, so it is uh, matching to my profile. So uh, it is good to uh, have the interview and to be part of the team if I am selected. Okay. What project you done in Python? Can you bit elaborate what work you done in your Python? Yeah, so uh, coming uh, to my project, uh, currently I am working with uh, uh, the Bank of Scotland. So there uh, we are uh, having like uh, uh, the data, like um, we are having the conference team. So where we are normally getting the data and the data, it is like our internal data as it is a bank. So the data we are um, uh, um, uh, means uh, uh, getting uh, from the internal source and the data we are um, uh, up, uh, means uh, uploading through um, the um, uh, uh, Excel and uh, after that uh, uh, through the Microsoft SQL server. So there we are extracting and manipulating the data and using the join function and uh, um, creating the dashboard and providing uh, to the end user. So in the like the conference team in the uh, reported format. So also we are having the tableau there we um, visualize the data and uh, do the report building for um, uh, and for the uh, data visualization also we use the Python programming where we use the pandas and num numpy to uh, do the data visualization, which is reusable in every time with a large number of data set. Okay. What is a, how to build a KPI in Python? Do you have any exposure to KPI building? Uh, yeah, so as of now, um, I have not performed that KPI related uh, part in the uh, Python. Okay. What is Lambda tool, Lambda in, in you know, uh, function in Python? Yeah, so uh, Lambda, we can say like um, uh, similar function, uh, let's say we are writing one uh, function, a uh, set of lines we are writing, so that it will be combined of five to six lines to complete this particular task. So um, the same thing we can use the Lambda function. So using the Lambda, we can write in one line. So that will be uh, reduce the performance time and reduce the execution timing. So that will be helpful in the programming to handle in the large data set. Okay. What are the local variable and global variable in Python? Yeah, so local, uh, it is like uh, whatever uh, we are having a function or we are having a class. So whatever it is like uh, uh, declared in globally. So across the library or the function, we can use it. So let's say um, um, if it is like a um, local variable, we can declare in one of the function and uh, that we can use in there only. So better uh, means uh, depend on the cases, we can um, uh, use uh, the local and global variable. Okay. What are the common built-in data type in Python? So there are uh, five types of normally we are uh, using the data types in uh, Python that is uh, list, tuple, uh, dictionary, and set operator. Okay. So just, just checking that, you know, in a Tableau, you are building that project. You are telling you are done a 
you know, a lot of data reporting, data visualization. So, what about the Tableau product family? Can we elaborate, Mr. Ramanujan? Uh, can you please repeat the question, sir? Tableau product family. Yeah, so Tableau, there are um, five type of uh, Tableau product family up there. One is the uh, Tableau uh, desktop, second is the Tableau server, Tableau online, Tableau reader, and Tableau public. So Tableau desktop is the uh, visualization uh, tool which we install in our uh, system and we can do the um, uh, visualization um, with a large number of data set. And Tableau server is like a server, um, is it a um, server where um, our um, report and uh, dashboard it will be saved to there for the future um, use and tableau online it is like the online version of the tableau so where anywhere we can use uh, using the tableau online and tableau reader is that uh, yeah we are using um, that uh, visualization so uh, th th this is like a, a type of uh, uh, kind of um, drag on uh, drop we can use the performance any kind of interaction is there so and W public, it is like freely av available uh, software which uh, any person can use and learn the W public. Data blending in Tableau and what are the advantages of using data blending? Yeah, so data blending is that uh, we um, uh, means we can collect uh, means we can import uh, n number of uh, uh, data from with different different sources and uh, that one we can uh, analyze and do the in a dashboard and we can represent through the Tableau dashboard so that will be helpful to uh, the uh, data analyst to um, uh, get the data with multiple source and analyze in the Tableau. What is drill down in Tableau? What are the what are the maximum drill down you done in your data visualization? Uh, drill down. Uh, hierarchy. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Hierarchy relationship. Uh, yeah. So um. We are splitting that uh, values like a product uh, or a product hierarchy, a time hierarchy. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between live and extract? Yeah, so live is that, uh, let's say we are using the Tableau and we are having uh, a data set in the Excel or um, uh, some other sources, so like CSV. So let's say uh, we are using um, the live. So whatever that um, data changes we've done in the Excel, so that we can import and in the live, uh, in our tableau um the tool that will be changed and when it will be extract like uh, if we change in our uh, uh, local uh, data source so that change will be not reflect can you bit explain that uh, how you are engaging with your uh, project involvement in your project uh the tableau or live or expert uh, you are asking a uh, project i'm talking about a project yeah, so um, uh, currently in uh, this is the banking project and we are getting the data from uh, the uh, means the uh, user data we are getting from the compliance team and uh, that is called the compliance team. So they are providing the data and uh, the data we are getting in our uh, means from the server. We uh, um, So they are providing the, whatever the data we need to analyze and set up uh, um, rule uh, they are providing according to that. Uh, we are um, uh, uh, analyzing the data in the Excel and uh, do the cleaning and do uh, that uh, um, manipulation of the data. So similarly, whenever it is a huge number of data, it, we are using the SQL server. So using the um, uh, set and join operator, we are uh, validating so uh, according to the requirement. And in the Excel, we are doing the dashboard. And uh, whenever it is uh, going to the large data, we are providing in the uh, tableau okay okay do you have any exposure to teradata or any other database uh as of now um i didn't get a chance to uh, work on the teradata so i worked on the mysql server only 
Okay. Okay. So if I get a chance, definitely uh, my wish is to learn. What are the di learning. difference between a uh, you know structure, semi-structure, and unstructured data? Can be explained. Uh, okay. Uh, no problem. Okay. What is the difference between database, data warehousing, and data lake or cloud? Uh, data warehousing, uh, like uh, any of our uh, ETL tool, we can use like Informatica and uh, this, this tool for uh, data warehousing, we can use it. And the data where cloud? And cloud, we are using that uh, AWS. So in the S3 bucket, uh, we are um, having the data, whatever uh, the internal uh, data store of the organization so that can be fetched and uh, used for the uh, data activity like data management data ma manipulation what is the sql subquery and how it is different from sql join So SQL join uh, is that uh, like uh, means uh, uh, means the we can join different uh, tables are there we can join internally so there are like uh, four types of join inner join left outer join and right outer join and uh, full outer join so four joins we are using and uh, if uh, coming to the sub sub query so whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so, so subquery is that uh, in the query, uh, the main query is there. Uh, we can uh, write uh, using the query class uh, another query in that to uh, use the um, uh, means um, execution of the query and get the data. Can you tell how to achieve to get the second highest salary from a column in a table? Not uh, the second, second tax, yeah. yeah, second highest salary. No, that is you can context you tell that yeah. is fine. So, so, so we can use the uh, top function in that. So, in the top, like um, uh, uh, using the top function, it will be provide the uh, top of the particular uh, uh, table. Like, uh, let's say we are having a student table and the mark is there. So, using the top function, we can get that um, highest number of the thing. And from that uh, second row, we can write a query from there, we can get the second column on that. Okay. So, like, if you see what other you know different data source you are connecting, can you know the what are the different example of data source you are connecting? Yeah, data source we can use like uh, Excel and the CSV file, then Google Sheet, AWS, and uh, uh, Informatica also we can use and. Uh, um, um yeah so these are the source currently we are using and uh, um, uh, apart from that uh, n number of sources also we can use where the like uh, data we can help okay. do you have knowledge in uh, cloud technology uh yeah cloud currently in our project is not much using so we are using like i have in my previous project i have worked uh, some time in that AWS. Sorry, which which cloud? Ah, uh, that cloud? Amazon uh, AWS. AWS. Okay. Yes. yes. So, uh, do you have a team handling experience? Yeah. Uh, currently, uh, I am handling uh, working as a data analyst lead in the current project. So, I am handling like, like six people currently in um, the team, and also coordinating with the different team, like where like partially also I am involving in that, like to giving the resolution to them. So, uh, approximately, I can say like ten number of people I am handling. Okay. Okay. Nice. So, here team size will be thirty. Is that fine to handling the team? Yeah, so uh, from a long time, like uh, two years, I, uh, I am handling like 10 number of people. So it is not uh, uh, means uh, creating any problem to handle 30 number of people to me. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I'm clear, Ramnaju. We are looking few candidates uh, to already uh, the process is going on. Even uh, one more round is there, the client round. And if a profile is shortlisted, HR will get back for your further round. Do you have any question for us? Yeah, so what is the particular project is 
for so what is the uh, road yeah, based on uh, based on skills uh, we have a multiple uh, data you know uh, and analytical project so we have multiple client based on that your skills and domain and expertise we are going to assign the project okay thank you yeah yeah thank you have a good day